now let us try this program this program was asked in gate 2000 and it was a two mark question which is a very simple question based on static variables now if you know what is what are static variables then you can easily solve this question right so now let us try to execute this program and the program execution will start from the main function so we'll start from the main function in the main function we are having two variables the variable i and the variable j right and then in the for loop let us suppose these are the variable i and this is the variable j in the for loop we are initializing the value of i as 0 therefore i is now going to store 0 and then we are checking that if i is less than equal to 4 or not and the value stored in i is 0 and 0 is less than 4 therefore this condition is true we are going to execute this statement now now in this statement we are making j is equal to i n c r i and this i n c r is a function here okay that means we are going to pass this value of i to this function now in this function uh, when we pass this value of i for this function the receiver variable is i here which is a local variable to this function and the value of i will be stored in this receiver variable so i is now going to store 0 and then in the line number 1 we are having a static variable which is count okay so this let us suppose this is the static variable which is count and it is storing the value 0 and then in the line number 2 we are doing count is equal to count plus i that means uh, whatever the value of count is we are going to add the value of i to this count so the value of i is 0 and the value of count is 0 therefore it is now again going to store 0 and then in the line number 3 we are going to return the value of count therefore it is now going to return the value of value 0 to this function and this value will be stored in j so as soon as this uh, execution of this incr function finished this variable i is destroyed because it was not a static variable but this count variable is not destroyed because it is a static variable okay now in this function again uh, for the for loop the value of i is incremented here the value of i will become 1 now so when the value, value of i will become 1 we'll check the condition 1 is less than equal to 4 correct therefore the condition is true that, then again we are going to execute this statement now in this statement the value which will be passed to this variable i is 1 okay so now let us suppose this value which is passed to i is 1 and then uh, again uh, we are going to execute the statement number 2 not statement number 1 because the count was already uh, uh, initialized in the previous statement so it is now going to make count is equal to count plus i right and the value stored in count is 0 and we are going to add 1 to this value which is stored in i so the value of count will become 1 and then it is going to return the value of our count therefore this value of count will be returned to this function right this statement and the value of j will now be 1 okay and the next time uh, obviously in the previous ex execution this uh, variable i was destroyed and the next time the value of i is again initialized in this main function therefore the value of i will become 2 and it is going to check the condition so 2 is less than equal to 4 correct so we are again going to execute this uh, incr function and then we are going to pass the value of i which is 2 now so coming back to this incr function now the value of i is 2 and then it is going to execute the statement number 2 which is count is equal to count plus i and the value of count is 1 and then we are going to do 1 plus 2 therefore the value 3 will be stored in this variable count okay and then we are going to return the value of count therefore the value which will be returned to this function is 3 right so j will now be storing 3 okay and then the value of i will be incremented so the value of i will become 3 and then again we are going to check the condition yes 3 is less than or equal to 4 so we are going to execute this statement again so it is again going to pass the value of i to this incr function so the new value of i is now 3 and then uh, we are going to execute the statement number 2 and the statement number 2 is count is equal to count plus i so the value which will, which will be now stored in count will be 3 plus 3 is 6 okay and then it is going to return the value of count which is 6 so it is now going to uh, store 6 in j now again the value of i will be incremented here and the value of i will become 4 and 4 is less than or equal to 4 correct therefore we are going to uh, execute the statement again and then we are going to pass this value of i to this incr function which is 4 and therefore this variable i which is storing the value 4 in the line number 2 we are doing count is equal to count plus i therefore this count variable is now going to store 6 plus 4 is 10 right and then 
it is going to return the value 10 so this 10 value will be will now be stored in the variable j so j is now be 10 and then we are going to increment the value of i and the value of i will become 5 and if you check the condition 5 is not less than or equal to 4 this condition is failed therefore we will come out of this for loop right so after the execution of this for loop after uh, when this for loop completed, completed its execution the value stored in the variable i is uh, variable j is 10 therefore the option number a is correct okay it is a very simple question uh, which is based on static variables okay now let us see more questions now